tribute to your loved one, leader, friend, or beloved pastor. God bless you. When anyone walks into a library, they will find themselves surrounded by the best written events and thoughts of the world's brightest minds. On this Friday evening, let us imagine that we are in the position of a little child that is entering a huge library that is filled with books in many languages. The child knows that it someone must have written those books. It does not know how, it does not understand the languages in which they are written. The child dimly suspects a mysterious order in the arrangement of the books, but does not know what it is. That it seems is the thoughts of the most intelligent human beings toward God. We see the universe marvelously arranged and obeying certain laws, but only dimly understand these laws. This is a glimpse of the thinking of Albert Einstein and his view of God's books in a library. Who among us can believe that God's so vast and creative power would create a universe and not record it or write it down. He did write it down. His crowning creative act was man made in his image, little lower than the angels, but dearest to his heart. The Lord knew the value of the history of each life lived. Every man is of such value that a book of records has recorded its history. Job said, my record is on high. Job 16 and 19. My witness is in heaven. Malachi 3.16 states, then they that feared the Lord and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. Job 19, 23 states, Oh, that my words were now written. Oh, that they were printed in a book, that they were graven with an iron of pen and lead in the rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at that latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself and not another. Psalms 139 and 16 states, In thy book all thy members were written. God's library contains books of generations, creation, books of history, human government, salvation, books of prophecy, revelation, and life. The essence of a library is considered the heart and soul of a university, a city, and a nation. There would be no institution of higher learning without a credible library. Our Holy Bible is a library of books that God authored as holy men wrote as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Hebrews 12 and 4 states, God is the author and finisher of our faith. This evening, let's walk through God's library and identify a few of the books of the lives that have been lived before us that establishes their living history of devotion. Their history is a relevant part of our exploding last day revival. 
the Apostle Paul stated, ye are epistles written in our hearts, known and read of all men. Written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshly tables of the heart. 2 Corinthians 3 and 2. These epistles establish the indestructible evidence of God's history with man. God's library with all of our epistle stories add to the intrigue and subjects of heaven's splendor. Every man is a tale to be told. Revelations 20 and 12 states, And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Their deeds done in the body are all a part of their biography in God's library. John 21, 25 says, And there are also many other things that Jesus did, the which if they, were, if they should be written every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Even a cup of water given in his name is recorded and will not lose its reward. Mark 9:41. If we could tell every minister's story that is represented here tonight, the triumphs, the victories, the miracles, only heaven eternal would give us enough time to read the books that God has written about their lives and the souls that they have seen saved. The Apostle Paul told Timothy in 2 Timothy 4, When thou cometh, Bring with thee the books. Paul knew that the believer's apostolic history must be secured. The journals of his missionary work and parchments were important. Luke 12, 8 states, Whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man confess before the angels of God. So just imagine our Heavenly Father reading out of our personal life story that he authored to the angels. So let's pull a few of God's library books out of his library. Here's one on full throttle. And God will confess I flew the plane when it ran out of gas and he was asleep over the Amazon River. I was there. I took care of him. Or God confessing how he enjoyed Brother Bernard's book on the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. You can't read it without crying. How about the legacy of James Carney? Look, angels. He didn't want to build a church in Columbia, Mississippi. He wanted to build the church of Columbia, Mississippi. Angels, find some books of N.A. Urshan and Cleveland and S.W. Chambers, James Kilgore, J.T. Pugh, many others in the UPCI Order of the Faith. I confess, I authored a book about Ray Johnson from Denham Springs who taught a thousand Bible studies. Go to the B section in the books and find the one on Roy Barnhill from Lumberton, North Carolina who built a great church, served as district secretary of North Carolina, and had my shepherd's heart. 
I wrote a book about a young lady named Evangeline Rodenbush. It's in my library. I called her and she obeyed. And look at the teamwork she and her husband carried out in their world missions passion. All the preachers and spouses whose names will be spoken here tonight. Eli Hernandez, Irvin Baxter, and many more have a book of life with all their deeds done in the body. And we will have eternity to read of the miracles that I did for them to build my last day church. Everyone. I authored their life story and finished their eternal legacy and will confess it throughout the ages to the host of angels in heaven and to the Father. The redeemed will have a forever place in the conversation of heaven. Our theme of heaven as God's redeemed will, will be worshiping him, our eternal worship. He purchased us with his own blood. Earth could not contain the books, but God's eternal library will. His theme, his glorious theme, will be his bride, his love, his fair one, his without spot or blemish bride. And for out eternity, his theme will be pleasures forevermore. Crowns of righteousness, mansions of rare beauty, and maybe he will say, bring the books, because we'll have forever to read the endless testimonies of my glorious church. We just raise our hands and give the Lord some praise. Brother Gid Rose said tonight he wanted to celebration of life and when we say something folks we don't sorrow as those who have no hope we have hope very quickly they were members of the Nazarene Church in Montgomery Alabama their pastor and his wife decided they'd go to Tulsa Oklahoma because they'd heard there was a Bible school he was to pastor the 11th Street Nazarene Church and she was to go to Apostolic Bible College Apostolic College for the Williams. After listening through the window, he turned his life over to the Lord in a very different way, became a Pentecostal minister. His name was Leo Upton. The family that was in Alabama was the G.T. Spear family. And the G.T. Spear family wrote this song, and they said, we love our pastor. And I tell you what, it's a great song, Sister Karen. Well, some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air coming after you and me joy is ours to share what rejoicing there will be when the saints shall rise headed for that you yonder in the skies oh what 
God sing. Oh, what shouting, sing with us. Oh, that happy morning when we all shall rise. Oh, what glory, glory, hallelujah. When we meet our blessed Savior in the sky. Well, it seems that now I almost see all those sainted dead rising for the jubilee that is just ahead well in the twinkling of an eye change with them to be well all the living saints to fly to that jubilee oh what singing oh what shouting on that happy morning when we all shall rise oh what glory hallelujah when we meet our blessed Savior in the sky, well, when with all the heavenly hosts we begin to sing, we'll be singing in the Holy Ghost how the heavens will ring. Millions there will join the song, with Him we shall be. We'll be praising Christ the courageous Lord, heaven's jubilee. Oh, what singing! Oh, what shouting! On that happy morning when we all shall rise, oh, what glory, hallelujah, when we meet our blessed Savior in the sky, well, when we meet our blessed Savior in the sky. Somebody say amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask for a, a mic stand. If, uh, we didn't premeditate this microphone in my hand at the same time that we have 300 precious names to call. But we'll begin and trust you understand. Between 2019 and 2020, we had 121 precious ministers walk through the gates of Pearl. Ronald Abbott, Robert Eddington. Paul M. Alden, John David Allen, Delbert L. Anderson, Eugene Arnold. Leonard H. Ballard, David Baston, Bobby Cho Bates, Laverne R. Bell, Jr., Robert J. Bibb, Harold D. Biggs, Casper O. Bill Hammer, Paul Billingsley, Wilbur Air L. Boone, Judas C. Branham, Walter Ben Brown, Donald J. Burge, Bruce Bush. V. H. Buster, Gerald R. Buxton, Bernadine Caldwell Webb, Billy R. Campbell, Sr., Billy W. Causey, Harold Clemens, Roscoe Conley, 
Everett J. Corcoran, missionary. Charles E. Cruz, Rex R. Denson. Frederick L. Dibble, Sr. Rebecca J. Doyle. Merle C. Dry. Charles T. Dupree. Henry Easter. Steve K. Evans. William E. Fuller. Harmon Green. Domingo Guerrero. James W. Hall. Harris H. Hammond. Christopher P. Hancock, Patrick H. Hancock, Mildred L. Harper, Matthew D. Harrell, Richard Haltry, Jr., Eli Hernandez. Robert L. Heiss, Jose Jaime Hinostroza, William Roy Howell, Larry Hewling, Donald R. Hull, Kenneth E. Humbers, L. M. Jean, Anthony Jefferson, A. O. Johnson, Bennett H. Jones, James A. Jones, Edgar D. Kearney, Harold Howe Kennedy, Eric A. King, William Nettle, William E. Lamb, Daniel Thaddeus Landry, Gary L. Linville, James Littles Sr., Larry J. Lloyd, Noel Lloyd, Danny L. Lunsford, Jimmy D. Mahirin, George McAdams, Russell L. McCain, Gerald D. McGee, Melvin E. Meeks, Alan Malam, Mary Lou Myrick, Fred William No, Ronald A. Norris, Jonathan Oliveira, Carrie L. Parker, Richard Allen Perry II, Larry R. Powell. Paul R. Rabick, Missionary, Linda T. Reed. 
William Raydale, Carl, Carl L. Rowell, James R. Sample, Jeffrey C. Sanders, Ferdinand Scheichetter, Douglas Seal, Frank Shackelford, Robert O. Seal, Thomas W. Simons, Alphonse Simons, Tommy R. Spites, Alan D. Spence, Don E. Stevens, R. L. Stevens, Jerry W. Stroh, Kenneth Stoltz, Jimmy D. Swank, Philip W. Swinford, Garland L. Tipton, Martin D. Tipton, R. L. Talbert, Mel R. Turpin, C. Lynn Tyson, Glenn O. Villarin, Edward Waite, Andrew D. Wasmut Sr., Melvin Webb, R. D. Whalen, Kenneth G. Williams, Billy J. Wilson, Leonard J. Wilson, H. D. Wisdom, Dennis D. Whitkus, Jesse Wolf, Albert L. Woods, Daniel Yankee, Miguel A. Yankee, Charles A. Zeck, this concludes the 2019 and 2020 time period and Sister Bernard is going to come and read the spouses for that time also. So God bless Sister Bernard. Lucille Barnes Sarah Boone Melba Brown Nevels Linda Clayton Susie Crab Anadine Creel Linda Curtis Elizabeth Decker Coral Denny, one of our missionaries Eva Dominguez Louise Duke Rachel V. Dupree Mary Durand Margaret Joy 
Ings. Betty Eskridge. Sharon Flaherty. Carolyn Gower. Joan Hammond. Debbie Haynes. Oraline Jones, Shirley Jones, Linda Massengale, Gloria Men, Ruth Milam, our sweet Mickey Mooney. and my pastor's wife from Texas, Betty Moore. Ida Mae Nelson. Becky Lee Powell. Valerie Sanders. Noreen Sawyer. Velma Shackelford. Dorothy Schaffer, Schaefer, I'm sorry. Gloria Stevens. Bonnie Jane Taylor. Rose Warren. Shirley Welch. Geraldine Whalen. Lillian White, Joanna Wilbanks, Virgie K. Woods, Love of Jesus, sing His mercy and His grace in the mansions bright and blessed. He'll prepare for us a place when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be!
There's a wonderful presence of the Lord in this room. Would you just uh, pat your neighbor on the back and say, I love you, love you, love you. Each of these names are like teardrops from our heart. And so many of these that you have loved so dearly, have preached so many powerful, sustaining sermons, lifted us up above the shadows of life. Don't you feel victory in this house today? Come on, let's just say victory. Every one of our blessed saints gone into glory. Now for the year of 2021, we go from August the 1st to August the 1st. And this last year we had 187 precious ministers that went to glory. The first one is Wilmer Robert Adams. Nathan R. Akers. James D. Alcorn. David F. Aldridge. A.L. Allen, Philip E. Anderson, Ray Paul Ampt, Sr., Bert N. Arnold, Guadalupe Arrodano. Ronald M. Baker. Missionary John R. Barley. Jimmy C. Barmore. Joyce J. Barnes Baglin. Roy Lee Barnhill. What a friend. Irvin L. Baxter, Jr. What a teacher. R.T. Bennett. Charles Benenhoff. Gary A. Bigger. John R. Boyd. John J. Bridges, Leland P. Briggs, Truman B. Brinkley, David B. Bryan, Carol Bushnell, Bernice S. Butcher, Elicio Camarina, James E. Carney. Blessed, blessed man. Bobby Carpenter, Tommy H. Castle, Samuel D. Kaywood. Johnny R. Chance, Sr. Carl W. Coe. Billy C. Colthorpe. Jonathan Thomas Connaught. Jean B. Cook. 
C. E. Cooley. George Comey Sr. Kristen L. Coverdale. Ted R. Craig. Oliver J. Crossan Jr. Gabriel Cruz. Missionary Paul A. Dennis. David K. Dome. Missionary. Dennis L. Dobbins. David H. Donaldson. Russell L. Dodson. Clyde O. Dowden. Missionary T. Wynn Drost. Paul Dunn. Larry Dye Sr. Dennis L. Evans. Larry D. Ferris. John J. Favell. Russell E. Folger. Missionary Robert E. Forbush. Lee D. Fourth, Billy J. Fowler, Hank J. Freeland, Charles P. Fritz, Sr., Missionary Robert P. Frizzell, James G. Fudge, Rodney J. Garner, Morris L. Garsnett, Joseph W. Castanon, Donald Wayne Garthright, Bobby L. Goddard, Dewey R. Goforth, Caesar A. Gonzalez, Dennis S. Granger, Ralph S. Green, Sr., Daniel F. Greer, Larry F. Gregg, Clarence H. Grisham, O.L. Gunter, Emily Mary Jane Guy, George M. Guy, William R. Hall, James K. Hankins, Charles H. Hardy, Jr., Missionary John R. Harris, Willis E. Herod, Jerry L. Hurd, Joseph B. Hedges, Joseph L. Hempel, Eugene W. Hemsworth, Elmer D. Hickman, H. A. Hildebrand, James A. Hinkle, Harry P. Hoffman, Robert E. Homan, Donald P. Holly, Florine Hooper, Ronald J. 
Huntington. Cecil R. Hutching. Jake Hutto. Jack L. Jenkins. James Jimenez. Jose R. Jimenez. F. R. Johnson. William Ray Johnson. Ricky D. Keys. Gordon D. Kerstead. Herbert H. Legg, Jr. James R. Leonard. David E. Litton. John T. Logan. Edward Lee Lunsford. Doyle W. Mangum. Philip Martin. Floyd E. Matthews. James H. Malcahaney. Arville McKinney. Gary A. Bean. Chris N. Montgomery. Kyle W. Montgomery. B. E. Moore. Arnold M. Martin. Octavio Munoz, Jr. Herbert A. Merrill, Jr. David N. Meyer. Glendon R. Nance. Wayne Nash. William H. Nix. Ronald G. Null. Robert O'Banion. Ronnie A. Oliver. Ralph A. Orozco. George Pantages. William M. Parker. Carl Patrick. Billy R. Pendergrass. Missionary Sidney H. Purdue. Arthur D. Perry. Elliot Perry, Jr. Missionary Robert E. Poole. Larry J. Porter. Lowell M. Porter. Arthur T. Potts. Cole W. Price. Ivan Pullen. Robert R. Ramsey. Doyle W. Randall. Robert K. Rivers. Missionary Evangeline Rodenbush. Mary L. Rogers. Anthony L. Rogers. A. Carl Rogers, Jr. Jose A. Roldan. Jimmy A. Rutherford. Edward J. Salverson. 
missionary, Gerald F. Sawyer. Carl Schussler, Alan G. Seagraves, Lester Malcolm Seal, Gary A. Sharp, Bill G. Sherrill, Olin Sherrill, Jerry D. Smucker, Donnell C. Spurgeon, Lawrence L. Stevens, Burl L. A. Stevenson, Virgil A. Stoffel, Sebastian Tessero, Domingo, George L. Tharp, Telford F. Tharp, Timothy A. Thompson, David A. Tracy, Anthony Tremble, Jose A. Tercius, Ronald G. Turner, Thomas H. Turner, Randy M. Vallot, Jose A. Vargas, J. D. Ward, Patricia Ann Wellshans. Robert S. Whaley. Cleveland Carl Wheatley. Tommy D. White. Howard W. Whittington. James Williamson. Paul Herbert Williard. Stanley W. Wilt, Richard L. Weiser, John L. Yates, Lloyd Yunkin, and Stephen J. Zorch. Those were the ministers of that have gone to their wonderful reward. Sister Bernard is going to now read the spouses. Donna Lisa Adcock. Lois Allred, Carolyn Amy, Naomi C. Bass, Linda Benton, Lavina Elaine Bibb, Teddy Blaylock. Sandra Blizzard, Catherine Bolenbacher, Imogene Cardwell, Dorothy Dowden, Sandra Inquist, Catherine L. Farley. Miriam Fort, Carol 
Gable, Dorothy Hall, Myrna Hassel, Linda Hurd, Dolores Heskett, Annetta Hillman, Margaret Ruth Hulian, Sandy Jones, Betty J. Klepper, Billy Lambert, Janice Lewis, Barbara Lopez, Edie Love, Melissa Lowry, Estella E. Mahor, Henrietta E. Marquez, Darla McLean, Alma Jean Morris, Lisa Norris, Jean Olson Baker, Berta L. Poe, Loretta Poling, Michelle Dawn Porter, Virginia Rigdon, Alita L. Rumpf, Glenda Schroeder, Elsie Shelton, Kay Singleton. She would call me every year and sing happy birthday to me on the phone. Jill Terry. Sandra Thomas. Barbara J. Thurston. Brenda B. Walker. Bonnie Ward, Mary Webb, Nancy Webster, Joyce Wilkins. These are our spouses that passed away from 2020 to 2021. Certainly this is a solemn occasion and it's rendered even more so by having two years combined and then of course COVID and other things, especially this second year, um, the, the number of people passing away has been perhaps 80% higher than usual. So obviously many families have been affected, many churches have been affected and we can't do justice to all of these. We can barely mention their names and can't really mention their significance and uh, we may not even always know them or pronounce the name exactly correctly because almost 11,000 ministers and spouses and we do our best but it just seems so inadequate but you know what this is just a small representation we do value them we do call their name officially at the general conference and we have confidence that the Lord knows their name. And I don't know what eternity is going to be like, but I'm sure it's going to far exceed our imaginations and expectations. And no doubt, somewhere along the way, there will be a roll call of heroes. And the Lord knows the true story. I just imagine, if he says, well done, good and faithful servant, perhaps there's a time he'll line up all the angels and he'll call the name and 
he'll say something special. And of course, he, he won't mention any sins because they're washed under the blood. But he will mention a special contribution that each person has made. And he'll probably mention something that nobody else knows and maybe even the person themselves doesn't even know. This prayer you prayed saved this soul across the world. This prayer you prayed touched and saved the life of a missionary. This child that you won, you lost track of them, but their grandson became a pastor. And wouldn't it be amazing when the Lord tells the true story that none of us can fully comprehend? And I, I think that analogy of the book is apt. Of course, the Lord won't need a prop. He won't need assistance. But maybe he'll humor us. Maybe he'll pull out a book and he'll thumb the pages and say, now on page 142, I'm going to tell you something nobody knows. And so I'm sorry that we can't do justice to your loved one. But in a way, we're stopping and pausing and you're filling in the blanks because your mind is going to all those things. And uh, no doubt people online and people in days and weeks and months to come will watch this and think about this and ponder this and God will bring to our remembrance these special things that we treasure. But I'm glad that we as the United Pentecostal Church International take this interlude in our official general conference. And you know, it doesn't diminish the worship because we rejoice with those who rejoice and we weep with those who weep. And that's one thing about Pentecostals, we can laugh one minute and cry the next minute. And it's real, it's sincere, but it's life. That's what life is all about. And so I want us to stand today and uh, we're going to pray. We've got a little time, of course, before our final service of the General Conference. But I want us to take a moment to pray and, and let's pray for these family members and those who've lost their beloved spouse or mother, father, pastor. Let's pray together. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for such a wonderful fellowship in the apostolic movement. And thank you, Lord, for the ability to come together to worship you in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Lord, for these loved ones who've gone on before us, these heroes of the faith, these ministers, these pastors, these spouses, these mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, these people who make us who we are. Lord, we ask that you would comfort those who are left behind, that you would strengthen the churches where a hole has been left, that you would establish the legacy until the, your second coming, Lord, that these men and women will live on in our memory, in our DNA, in our worship, in our fellowship. Oh, Lord, we ask that you would bring comfort that only you can bring. And Lord, help us to rejoice when it's time to rejoice. We give you thanks in all things. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. May God richly bless you in Jesus' name. Praise God. If you want to just remain standing, uh, it has really settled in this last year that there's only one that can say, I will never leave you or forsake you, and that's Jesus Christ because he's the only one that lives on both sides of a curtain of time. And that fellowship is uninterrupted. And that's a comfort to me. Our loved ones have, have never had a moment when they weren't alive. They're more alive now than they have ever been. And our son, if you pull the book off of the shelf, it might be named, I'm here to worship you, every family received a lapel pen when they came in with the, the artwork from his last album and uh, his song, I'm Here to Worship. Anthony was a worshiper and uh, we would sing around his bed when he was very sick and he would sing with us and we were singing uh, peace, peace, wonderful peace just a few days before he passed away and he interrupted me and he started singing my God is more than enough. And I, I thought, 
he's a worshiper all the way through. He, he, he wanted something a little peppier. And, uh, but we're going to sing his song uh, tonight, I'm Here to Worship. And our loved ones are over there worshiping already. And we want you to join with us in celebration. He hummed when he had no more words to, to sing. But, uh, and I, I, I just want to say that moment, our son-in-law, Brother Nathaniel Novak, he's a doctor. He knew the moment that he passed over. But when we look back, even after he was gone, uh, Brother and Sister Bernard, that look of struggle changed to a smile. And I knew he was worshiping with all of his might right then. So let's celebrate the lives of our loved ones as we close this service out tonight, can we? Let's sing together.
and sorrow that we will forget. And if you think we shot down here, you ain't seen nothing yet. Cause I'm just warming up. Oh, I'm just warming up. Yes, I'm just warming up for that meeting in the sky. couldn't greet the congregation. He got up out of his seat and he shuffled up to the front. And Lysandra said, are you sure? You don't have much strength at all. He said, it's all I can do. It's all I can give. And he went up to the front and raised his hands and began to worship the Lord. But right now, He's got all the energy he needs. And our loved ones are a part of a beautiful choir right now. And they're worshiping together the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. If he could do that in one of his last services, I think we could end this up with a little worship before we go. Oh, when I see those pearly gates and they swing open wide, I'm going to shout for joy when I reach the other side. All of my pain and sorrow, there I will forget. And if you think I shot down here, you ain't seen nothing yet. Cause I'm just warming up. Oh, I'm Come on, put your hands together. Oh, I'm just warming up for that meeting in the sky. It's a celebration. You think I'm strange. Don't wait for me to take. Because I'm just warming up for when I reach. Sing the chorus once more. I'm just warming up. Yeah, I'm just warming up. Well, I'm just warming up. For that meeting That's where we want to go You think I'm strange Don't wait for me to take Cause I'm just warming up Yes, I'm just warming up Oh, I'm just warming up For when I reach the other side Come on, clap your hands to the Lord Thank you, Jesus Thank you, Jesus. We'll see you soon. God bless you. You're dismissed from this service. Thank you so much for coming.